I'm Rebecca Brunson, and I am here with Kayla McBride, K Mac. Um, look, we're about a quarter past a quarter way through the season. How do you feel the Lynx have been doing as we start to progress through things? You know, it's been up and down, obviously, in the beginning of the season, but I think these last couple games, couple weeks, we've been taking really good strides into where we want to be and who, who we want to become. Um, you know, this league is really hard. It's really hard to get wins, and, um, you know, we, we've had some learning curves in the beginning of the season, but uh, especially that last game against Seattle, I think we took a big stride, and hopefully we can keep pushing forward and get some dubs. Yeah, uh, look, and as far as getting dubs, you mm -hmm. are a huge part of that. You are such an offensive threat. You can do it at three levels, right? And that's one of the things that I want to talk to you about is what you're thinking when you go yeah. into the offense and how you're creating shots for yourself. Okay, let's get into it. All right, it. let's get in let's this. Let's get into it. All right, so we're going to watch this play. Uh -huh. um, you just came off the pin down. Yep. Give me a little bit about what you see in your thought process going through it. So normally uh, against teams, I know I'm going to draw – probably a more athletic defender, somebody who's going to have to chase me all over the place, over the top, over top of the screen. So I know off bat, like whenever Sill's going to set me a screen, they're not going to shoot the gap just because if, if they do, um, I'm a three-point threat. Uh, so I know that she's going to she's gonna chase me, and now it's about reading the defense. Right. So obviously you see Rachel here, so if you want to run it like maybe one more second. Yep. So Rachel got me the ball, boom. You see Ari jump right to the ball because she knows that that's what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? She knows I want to, that's my first option is catch and shoot. Uh, she's actually, Christy Wells has actually played pretty good defense. She's still on the play. So now it's on me to make a play. You know, I've been in this league for a while. Yeah. Uh, you know, I see the rookie come out there. I'm like, okay, I, I got to make All a play. Right. And um, obviously, you know, Sill's going to draw a lot of attention. Um, so I know that that space is taken up. So I want to be able to get right into this mid range. I don't want to go in there and challenge, um, but just do what I do. And that's create a shot for us. So that's intro the rookie to the league. <laughs> welcome, Rook. Yes, welcome. There you go. Get to 15 feet. Exactly. Balance, exactly. go straight up. Great shot right there. Yes. You do that all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. You're coming down off of the screen. We got you over here. You're coming down. You're setting this up. So how, how are you going to go about setting this up? Yeah, so this was an ATO that Coach drew up um, out of a timeout. Um, and it's out of one of our typical plays that we run on a consistent basis. Just a little bit of a wrinkle. Mm -hmm. So, we, you know, we went through our regular progression. And now it's on me reading her. You know, I know, I know that, again, she's going to try to chase me. Uh, Rachel's a threat coming off, too. So she has the rest of the defense's attention. Now it's on me to take my time, use Sill's screen, uh, and try to get a good, good shot, a good look. All right, everybody's looking at Rachel here. You can see the defense. Mm -hmm. They're looking at Rachel. Rachel has the ball. She's going to come off and be aggressive, and she's going to create, um, help create this shot for you. Right. Let it play. She does. She pulls. You mm -hmm. get this right here. You see Seal. You talked about that a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Seal's one of the best screeners ever in the history of WNBA, and you can see Christy Wallace. She's already a little bit late, so now it's just on me to get to my spot uh, and, and get my feet set and, and take a good shot, and I feel like I'm confident enough in, in, in taking those shots, and that's what this team needs me to do and be confident in that, and that's what I did. You can do it all the time. <laughs> yes. In your sleep, you do yes. things like that. If yes. they're late and they're trailing, you're so good. That release is so quick. Mm -hmm. Just making sure you get your shot off before they can get there. I love it. All right, if we miss this, you got the elevators right here. These yes. two, right? They set that screen for you. You come through. What are you seeing? Right, so first of all, Sykes, great defender, long, athletic, quick, strong. Um, and I know that she, she knows me. We played against each other for a couple years now. So she knows that uh, usually on ATOs, I'm coming out of a, out of a screen somewhere. Uh, and unfortunately, she jumped at this time. Uh, so when, she, when I see her go this, this way, my first immediate reaction is to try to get back here into this empty space. I know Liz is going to be occupied with with Sill, um, and Jess has a great screen, so Chanae is pretty occupied as well, so now it's on me to make a play. I don't want to challenge anybody at the rim, and that's why when you say three levels, it's about, you know, finding my yes. ways to score. You know, I'm only 5'10", so going against 6'8", you got to have a floater, got to have pull-ups, uh, and just be creative in there. Getting creative. Mm -hmm. Like you do, you fade, oh, you get the active one up in the air, and look at that challenge. You come right in. You don't even think about it. 6'8", you just talked about the floater, you didn't care. You're like, yes. okay, yes. stop short, float it up. Exactly. Oh, there's nothing that she could do. Exactly. Right, perfect play. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about the, uh, what you're going to do as you're going through the, the play and right. the offense is great. Now, this was a need, right? We needed this. Look at the clock. Oh, yeah. Got 14.2 seconds on the mm -hmm. clock. Tie ball game. Yes. All right. So what do you think? It gives me chills. You know, thinking about it. <laughs> um, you know, like again. So here's Sykes back, back again, right? Um, and I, in, in this play, my first job was to get my open. So we got that done. Second of all, I want to get as much space as I possibly can. So I want to get over all the way into this corner because I know what the play is, right? They don't know, but I know. So my first job is to get all the way to the corner to give myself some space. Like I said, Sykes is athletic. She's quick. You, get, you know, she's physical. Um, so if you want to run it. Yep. So now I'm going to get to my spots. 
All right, let it, everybody be set. And now I'm just gonna relax. You know, I'm gonna relax because there's a lot of time. People think that this is this is not a lot. Of, it's a lot of time. Right. So now it's on us to to make a play. Let's keep it running. All right, BC has a pretty good screen right here. Get open. All right, so I know that I know that Sykes is gonna go over the top. Got two hands on me. She knows I want to come off here. Yeah. Bit, you, know? I, you know, I want to get off this to score. But what she doesn't know is that what Coach drew up was for me to actually fake this hand off and get to the get to the paint. Everybody was so everybody, yeah, everybody, nobody, thought thought okay. <laughs> nobody thought I was getting a layup on this play. Nobody thought I was getting a layup on this play. So you know, I I thought about Jess. Jess is a great passer, has great vision. Throw it to her. Uh, obviously, I got ball two here. hands on. Yeah, ball's gonna come right into Jess. Uh, and I just got to make a move. I got to be f more physical than Sykes on this possession. You sprint yep. off. Sprint off. Catch. Not oh. easy. The reverse layup, right? And yeah. one. The foul. The excitement. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it was a thing of beauty. <laughs> it right? was. It, it, was. It, it gave me chills as well. Exactly. So your activity, the way that you think about things, mm -hmm. you know, you have to manipulate the defender, whether they're sure. bigger than you, quicker than you, stronger than you. It doesn't matter because you're not just using the skill that you develop, your three-point shot, you're actually thinking about it. You're using your basketball IQ as mm -hmm. you go through these to figure out ways that you could beat people. It's a thing of beauty. I love it. I love it. And yeah, no, I enjoy the game too, and I watch a lot of basketball. Um, I, I enjoy the game and the physicality and the, the changes you have to make throughout the game. Yep. The different types of defenders, you know, sometimes they're smaller, bigger, faster. Um, and being able to manipulate that during the game with your teammates, you know, with great screens and finding people and things like that. I enjoy it, so you know this is just a small piece of what we do, but yep. uh, it makes me excited watching it <laughs> all over again. I know, right? Look, <laughs> yeah. you talk about wins. This is how you're going to get wins. Having players like you come out and play phenomenally, mm -hmm. night in and night out. So. Yeah. As a coach, I want to thank you for bringing that all the time. But, I mean, Lynx fans, this is something that you should look, look at. You can learn from it. She's mastered her craft. So we appreciate you. Thank you, baby.